Hello. This is uh, RaelStudios.com. I'm a graphic designer. My name is Marina Rael. And I'd like to show you some great way to create with uh, digital art and graphic art. So um, tonight I'll be a simple little class. And before I start, I'd like to show you some of my work in the past. This one is uh, a digital piece that I created. Sort of like sailing on the ocean. This is one that I created that I really love. Sort of multi-dimensional with different images. Uh, here's one of a leaf I took. Um, and uh, And it was divided into four pieces. And here's one I created for a couch on the wall in the den. And here's one I created of myself as an Egyptian queen. These are just fun, fun way to express yourself. All right. So right now I'm going to move over here. Two, I use Photoshop Elements as my tool to create, and um, it's not as expensive as Photoshop, so I like it that for that reason. And um, tonight, I thought we could make a zebra print. And first of all, we need to select our selector. Let me make sure this is in the middle here. Um, no, it's not in the middle. Okay, so here's our selector right here. And so now I'm going to take a picture that I took uh, off the internet of a zebra print, which I really like. And I'll make that really small and get that over here on the side so it gets out of my way. But yet I can still see it. All right, so let's create. All right, here we go. Uh, here we go. So we just hold it down, put in a little black here, go down and we select the black on the bottom right here. And um, And then we take the bucket tool and we put it in and drop it. All right. And we select the selector tool again. So here we are going down here again. And we go around here. I like to listen to blues in the background because uh, it's one of my favorite music styles. It's uh, quite sexy and cool and I find it very inspiring. The black and white is always a classic winner, no matter what it is, right? Because it's like cool. And uh, it's important to make it 300 resolution. And I usually do it about 20 inches, so it's big enough to reproduce on a large scale. It's, it's really important to do. And I really love 
zebras are sort of cool because I love horses. And they're one step away from a horse. I don't know which other came first, but... As you can see, it's a pretty simple process, and you, what you really want to do is just sort of follow the line that was there before, and it's not too hard to do. It's sort of like, uh, sort of like a coloring book. Let's change the lines here a little bit. We'll change the lines a little bit here. I hope you're having fun and following along. You can follow along and maybe you could watch it first and then uh, you can go back and give it a shot. It's a pretty simple process when you do it this way. So I think this is going to be uh, class number one. So that's the end product. And if you want to erase, you can use this eraser here to sort of even out the line if you want to rub it up. And uh, yeah, so there's that one. I'm going to save that one. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm going to save it as uh, JPEG, otherwise it won't go on. Yeah. Okay, now, since I've saved it, it's going to be right over here somewhere. There it is. So now, if you wanted to later, you could go in and add a little red for accent. Go down and select color. Get some red going in here. And then we're going to drop the red in there. Woohoo! Alright, a little red helps. Use a little accent. So we'll save that one too. So if you like this video, please like and uh, subscribe. And uh, I'll be making some more. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please share with your digital friends. And thanks for watching.